Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the functional anatomy of gills of fishes. The gills are effective respiratory organs for gas exchange in water. They have a thin, moist and highly vascularized epithelial layer which permits gas exchange through water medium. Now we shall discuss the anatomy of fish gills. Her gill jo hai, it has two rows of dorsoventrally flattened filaments which are supported by one gill arch. Yani her gill arch ke saath do flattened gill filaments ki rows attach hoti. Each filament has an upper and lower row of vascular folds of epithelium jinne hum pharyngeal lamellae kehte hain. These pharyngeal lamellae form the respiratory portion of the gill. Har lamella ke upar there is a thin sheet of epithelial cells. Jabke inner wall is formed by pillar cells. These pillar cells are in the collagen collagen fibers ka network paya jata hai which supports them. The branchial artery supplies blood to the gills. This branchial artery hai, this breaks into capillary bed in pharyngeal lamellae. Lamellae of successive filaments are in close contact in a row forming a sieve like structure. Jo pura gill hai, aise lagta hai ki ye ek filtering jali ki tere ka structure hai, jis mein se jab water flow karta hai, to in tahai bari channels ki form mein move karta hai. Lamellae overall aise slit like channels bana dete hai, jin mein se, jin channels mein se water flow karta hai. Jo channels hai, inka size, in tahai kaam, yani 0 0.02 se lekar 0 0.05 millimeter tak hota hai, wide width is ki, aur jabke inki length jo hai in channels ki, wo takriban 0.2 se 1.6 millimeter tak hoti hai. Is small size ki vaja se water flows in very thin sheets between the lamellae. The result ye hai ke diffusion distance between the water and blood flowing in capillary bed is reduced. So, jab water or capillary ke andar blood flow mein distance kam hota hai, to maximum gas exchange mumkin ho jata hai. 